Hey guys, welcome back to Red River Living. It's two weeks later. We're back in Seymour, Texas at Bacos to pick up our meat that's been processed. Well, we've made it back from Bacos. We're at home now, and we've been kind of going through the meat. And overall, it looks like we've got about 340 pounds of meat. I'm just gonna kind of go over that just a little bit with you. It looks like we ended up with about 200 pounds of hamburger meat out of that. Then the other 140 pounds is your um, T-bone steaks. Uh, your top sirloin, um, and then your filet mignons, your tender tender cuts. Uh, your ribeyes. And your roast. Uh, we had them take the brisket, cut the briskets in half. You can see they're, they're not, hey, enormous briskets. So we ended up with four briskets out of it. But just a quick numbers, um, 26 packages of tenderized cube steak, six packages of beef tenderloin, 12 packages of top sirloin, seven beef loin strip steak, eight beef loin T-bones, 16 beef ribeye steak, seven chuck roast, and four briskets with them being cut in half. And I'm very well pleased with how things are packaged. Everything's been vacuum sealed up. Very nice. Um, being at the boxes that they're in, it's gonna store real easy for us. Um, just so far, very impressed. Next step, we'll be seeing how it tastes and be able to go from there and see how we did feed out the steer. So as you can see here, I'm standing beside our new deep freeze. We um, bought a 24, like 0.6 cubic foot deep freeze. You know, I went with the deep freeze because in the reading I did, one of the pros to a chest versus an upright freezer that we already had was a chest would hold 20% more volume wise than your upright. So that's why I went with the chest freezer. And as you can tell, we have slowly organized it, um, moved a lot of our vegetables over here. Of course, you can see I'm stacking our beef in here right now from Houdini. But um, we've got our vegetables. One thing I was concerned about, and people talked about losing stuff in the bottom, uh, Debbie and I went and purchased these tubs to put stuff in so if there's something on bottom, you could quickly get to it, stuff wouldn't be falling over. It did take up some room, but that was the reason we went ahead and bought the freezer size that we did buy. And it looks like it's going to work out just fine. We'll still have a little extra room for some other stuff as we buy.
So what you see right here on the floor, um, we kind of went through stuff and just tried to make sure we had it split up equally. Um, Keel and them are sharing the cost on this. So this is basically a half of beef that you see right here on the floor before you. You've got 100 pounds of hamburger meat, then you've got your steaks. And that's pretty much what we ended up with. Hamburger meat, steaks, roast. guys kind of give just a little bit of a rundown on the amount of meat we did end up with we ended up with about 340 pounds of what we would call processed edible meat that's and the way we had this done we didn't have beef ribs and we didn't end up with a lot of bone we had a little t-bone steak but a lot of our meat is boneless meat so that kind of give you an idea of how we ended up with 340 pounds and that's a rough guess and we weighed stuff out and that's what we come up with just our way in it um, we started out with a steer that was roughly about a thousand pounds um, hang weight on him would have been like 601 i think is what they told us there at bacos and then once they've processed it and got it vacuum sealed up and everything we've ended up with 340 pounds of meat the processing fee of that was 778 dollars um, we're not going into the cost of what we paid for the steer and feeding him and all that. Just to get him there and process him, though, that was seven seventy eight. So, you know, you kind of do the math on that, and that's you know a little over two dollars a pound just to get it processed. And all. Well guys, it's the end of the day. Uh, again, we're watching the sunset out here to the west and um, we've come down to Keeley's. She's got two upright freezers and we've put two boxes of the meat in this freezer and she's put two boxes of meat in her other freezer. She basically has her hamburger meat, a box of hamburger meat here and then a box of steaks right here on this shelf. Guys, we appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate if you'd like and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time. <music>